Oh, oh, God's truce! Fie on you! Oh, what are you fed or wakes me? Are you the tail weaver? Gowan the dandelion. For the seeds of my stories flit upon the winds of Wessex. But why, mule, do you kick my noggin? You and Alfred's emissary were drinking in the tavern. Tell me where he went. Were we? I was so ale addled. Perhaps a small and silver thing upon my palm might help me recall? How about something long and sharp in your gut? All right, no need for that. You paint a vivid picture, Dane. He was headed to the white coast to the southeast, Dover Fortress. He said it is where they train those religious fanatics, zealots. They pray all night instead of sleeping. My thanks, and in return, wisdom. Too much beer bibing will grow a fool in wit and words. My thanks, Weaver of the Obvious. Now leave me to my unholy punishment. The emissary made for Dover Fortress on the southeast coast. Survey the area, Sunan.
not see you, old friend. Good traveler, what seek you? Perhaps I can help. Well worth a little silver, I assure you. Yes, all right. Look here. This spot I'll mark on your map. A place I know. The emissary is somewhere here. Perhaps I can find the letter without bloodshed. The Bard said Paladins trained at this fortress. This will not be an easy fight. Yeah. <laughs> 
I must be careful now. Now! I need your eyes, my friend. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Joseph Elderman is a thane called Tetman. The Abbot Cunebert will want to know. I should meet Bassam and the Abbot in Falkenstern. like a laying hen. I'm the one with the broken leg. At least grab old his sister. Someone is stuck? My brother, chasing some foolish legend that if you see old Hisser from above and catch his tail, he will grant you a wish. And what of your leg? 
Likely sprained, trying to climb up to rescue him. <laughs> we are a sorry pair. like a laying hen. I'm the one with the broken leg. At least grab old Hisser's tail while you're up there. Something is hissing. Jormungand are snakes. Are there snakes up here too? All right, all right. Well, you'll have to get down somehow. Can you see a haystack or something? A haystack? Are you mad? From this height? That's certain death. No, my fate is sealed. I will just wait up here. You made it up! You truly are a- I'll help you down, but how is a big strong nose like yourself afraid of heights? And snakes! I don't know how I let my brother talk me into these schemes. I think I just give in to his endless scolding, but I'm sick to the back teeth of him. Climb up on it, go in that cave of wolves on it, eat that red mushroom. Siblings are a source of great joy and equal misery. I too have a brother. Does yours put you in the maw of death every opportunity he gets? Come, let's get you down, and perhaps you can tell him how you feel. Talk of my feelings to my brother. I would rather let the snakes gnaw on my tender parts. This way. It's too high to get down from here. There, the ladder. Watch your step. This way! There! Another slithering devil waiting to get me! <laughs> yes! I'm alive! Brother! <laughs> Thank you, stranger, for bringing this waste of breath back to me. You're welcome. But what is the story you spoke of? Old Hisser? A pretty legend. He who catches Old Hisser's tail will find her heart's wish granted. I found such a story in a manuscript, up in the tower. Then may it bring you more luck than it did us. Maybe you will even solve the serpent's mystery. Farewell. May Odin litter your path with riches. Goodbye. And keep each other safe. For a good brother is the truest treasure from the gods. Now see, you big lump. All that wailing, it was as easy as a hop and a jump. <laughs> keep that up, and I'll leave you here for the wolves. <laughs> oh.
must try my... Eivor, you have news? Kent's new elderman will be Thane Tedmund. Tedmund? Oh, the Lord is testing me. He is made mouse by you Danes. Barely leaves his fortress at Rusister. How might I gain his influence if he will not speak to me? Or to anyone? It is a puzzle. To inspire loyalty, Tetman must owe you something. Such as his life. Go on. A fortress stormed. A man kidnapped. If you beat back his enemy, saved him from sure death, his gratitude would... Swell. It would know no bounds. But that fortress will be harder to pry open than a nun's knees. Perhaps... Perhaps not. Are you hiding something, Basin? There is a lumber mill nearby, correct? Bemis Field. Alfred invests much in fortifying Wessex, and uses our forests to do so. The mill provides his wood. Tedmund is there. Impossible! How do you know? I heard rumors that Tedmund had been lured out of self-exile to manage work on the fortifications of Canterbury. Taking him from a lumber yard is less dangerous than assaulting a fortress. But your rescue attempt will not have the same flair. Is it worth it? It may still work. Yes. Yes. Bring him to the Megaliths. And Fulke? When I have Tedman's fealty, you shall have Fulke. Now go. I will rustle up a small rescue party. I do a roaring trade at Reculver and Tunbridge. I pay well for my catch. The monks? Do those parchment skin Christians ever eat meat? Don't you believe in Jesus? They refrain because he died for our sins. Looking no for a worthy challenge. from a nice neck of lamb, not even God. Well, I hope he too. <gasps> I'm wary of this abbot Basin. He is self-serving and evasive. Can he really deliver Fulke? The abbot is a friend of Fulke's. That is clear. So long as he doesn't suspect our motive, we may have a chance. Indeed. This brings to mind a story. Perhaps you've heard of it. The Scorpion and the Frog. A children's story? A cautionary tale. The Scorpion wants to cross the river, but he cannot swim. So he enlists the help of the frog. The frog agrees to carry him on his back, extracting a promise that the scorpion will not sting him. Let me guess. The scorpion reneges, blaming his nature, and both drown. The scorpion crosses the river and stings an innocent man, killing him. So what does this tale tell us? That your stories are clouded and their meaning doubly so? It shows that every tale has a thousand possible outcomes. Many of which are surprising. If the abbot does not deliver Fulke, he will die at my hand. And we will continue our search. A sobering approach. <laughs> Bemisfield is just ahead. Lead. I will follow. I hope this chase will... We were speaking, Eivor. I hope this chase will catch us a plump hen. Once the abbot has Tedman's gratitude, he will deliver Fulke. It will cost us nothing more than... Wait, wait. Watch for my lady. Once the abbot has Tedman's gratitude, he will deliver Fulke. It will cost us nothing more than this. If that leaden wit keeps his word. Need to cloak myself here. Ah, 
You prefer to work in the shade? Asked about this lad, my friend. You're back. Very well. Ah, you prefer to work in the shadows. But who? You know, the rich one, the monastery that brews ale. He keeps half the men folk in the county from their wives, ending up with an ale house. <laughs> There's no reason I've not taken a husband. <laughs> if you're waiting for a sober one, you're dying old maid. <laughs> Ah, 
gentle if they spot me. Show me what lies ahead. seen in this area. Stop catawalling no. and you'll live. Live? Oh, saints protect me! Silence will save you, Tedmund. Silence, not your saints. <laughs> Flee, my friend. We have the man we came for. Does this venture not set your blood ablaze? You don't prefer working in the shadows? And so we have. To steal a man, take him with swiftness, and escape without anyone on our heels. We hide in plain sight. Such is our way but only until the moment of success, the final strike. I prefer to act and speak plain. Kings and lords who do not are often misunderstood. Yet as a leader yourself, you cannot deny that subtlety and intrigue are a cloak you must wear. Show me what lies ahead. seen in this area.
Stop catawalling and you'll live. Live? Oh, saints protect me! Silence will save you, Tedmund. Silence, not your saints. <laughs> Flee, my friend. We have the man we came for. Does this venture not set your blood ablaze? You don't prefer working in the shadows? And so we have. To steal a man, take him with swiftness, and escape without anyone on our heels. We hide in plain sight. Such is our way. But only until the moment of success, the final strike. I prefer to act and speak plain. Kings and lords who do not are often misunderstood. Yet as a leader yourself, you cannot deny that subtlety and intrigue are a cloak you must wear. How many of your clan know the true circumstances of Sigurd's absence? Hmm. You see my point. A leader must know when to speak and when to stay silent. For silence is not always a lie. It can feel like one. You truly embrace the concept of hiding in plain sight, eh? To its very fullest. As I do in everything. <laughs> Alfred, King of Wessex, I demand you release his royal subject <gasps> into my care. Come no closer, Christian, else your man dies by my blade. Please, I I'm not the man you want. Keep your eye on this one. He'll be worth a hefty bounty. Any false moves and I will snip your heels. We have your man. Now let's finish this shadow play and be gone. Are you sure that's Tedmund? He's dressed as a lord, but that man is shorter and fatter than I recall. I'm not Tedmund. I, I, I'm not. I, I swear upon the holy rood, I, I am not Thane Tedmund. What in heaven's name is happening here? Who are you? Speak quickly, or I will slit your throat and leave you for the crows. Shergar. I, I'm called Shergar. Lord Tedmund pays me a measly coin to serve as his double. Brother Shergar, you are far from Augustine's Priory. I, I left the cloisters many moons ago, Your Holiness. The monastic life was not my calling. We can use you yet, Shergar. Summon Tetman to a meeting. Get him out in the open. Tetman has no care for me or what I have to say. My orders come by letter, never by mouth. I hardly know the man. You have no use to us, then. Perhaps I should just kill you here and now. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Let, let, let me think. Let me think. Oh, Danes. T -t to storm the walls, you need Danes. Th there's a raiding camp west of here I was told to be wary of. I acting as Tedmund, I ordered a band of soldiers to capture them. If you hurry, you may be able to stop this. If another band of Danes wants to join our assault, we'll have the distraction we need to get inside Rusester. If the Saxons don't slaughter them first, I, I am still Tedman to the men in the field. I could speak with their captain, send his men away. It's a fearless plan. The Nordnir knit winding paths that cannot be unknotted. It seems Rusester was always in our path. Abbot, stay alert. We'll send word when we're ready to capture Tedman. And this fool? He knows much of our plan. He'll come with us. And if he betrays me, I'll roast his balls over a roaring fire. <laughs> you will not regret this. My wily ways and quick wit will cease the need for bloodshed. I still might kill you yet, man. If your prattling doesn't cease. The rewards for being Tedmund are rapidly diminishing. And how does one become a double? Are there vigorous challenges and tests to overcome? I was born with the... Eivor, where are you? I was born with the misfortune of... I 
was born with the misfortune of looking like someone else. I should have stayed on God's chosen path. Well, it took you from it. I'm the seventh son of a poor farmer, and not wanting another mouth to feed, my father gave me to the monks. The cloistered life did not suit you? I thought there would be great comfort in repetition, but instead I found nothing but prayer and back-breaking toil. The Norns weave strange destinies. <laughs> now your life depends on the story you weave for yourself. I'm not a good forgery. Still tears bled and my hands sweat and I have a stutter when I'm nervous, but, but, but I will try. <laughs> ah, the cornerstone of all great art. The captain does not know Tedman well. If we keep our heads, he will not question my orders. I hope. <laughs> we are too late. There is great horror here. Those who remain must be saved, whatever the cost. Let us approach the captain with caution. He drinks too much and does not need a reason to kill us. Yes, it is I, Thane Tedmund, coming to discuss the orders I gave to you not one day ago. This hamhock will get us all killed. Your sister rides your piss-soaked rod! Full Avi down, you dog! Uhuru? You slaves of Kent now! dare you address me in such a defiant manner? Do you not know who I am? You are Tedmund, as I've said. And I mean no disrespect, Lord, but I was told you were back in Rue, sister. Oh, yes? And, 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 and do I... Uh, do, do I look like I'm in Rue, sister? You, uh, do not, sir. A wise man is always unexpected. You travel in strange company, Lord. An Arab and a Dane. I'm here to advise your thane in the ways of my people. That, that is correct. A cultural exchange of sorts. Perhaps one day I will visit your... Uh, D Dane... Daneland. Norway. You mistake me for a foreigner. But are we not all just the measure of the places we've seen? Right. Well, that aside, have you any further orders, Lord? Yes, yes. I order, I order you to stop loitering and return to your barracks, you scabwit. And what of the captured Danes? You must kill them all! Every last... Sorry, no. Uh, leave them here, tied up, as a... As a feast for wolves and crows. That is all, you may depart. Shoo! A convincing ruse that has earned you your freedom. Go, and make your life anew, not in another man's boots. I will. This small sup of power has got me thinking. Perhaps I could be a l leader of men. Yes, yes! Hurry along, men! Warm thighs and ale awaits! Uh, Come on! Tied up like animals. I need to free them. We owe you our lives, friend. These Saxon whoresons would have killed us all. Yes, they would have. And now's your chance to hit back. March with us on Rusester and drain it of riches. I will gladly, friend. But we few will not break those iron-thick walls. And we have no allies in Wessex. None who could be called upon to attack their countrymen. Mercy, I will heed the call. Gidrich will provide our Viking a horde. We'll send a message to Oxenfordshire. The men of Mercia would gladly take a swipe at Wessex. What is your name, warrior? Runa Egelstotter. We need ships, Runa. We have a small fleet moored up river, but a naval chain blocks passage to Rue Sister's walls. I will remove it, and your people will bring their ships. Now, gather these fallen weapons and armor. 
Gidrich and the men of Xenifuchaya will need them to hide their Mercian origins. My warriors were denied Valhalla today. I cannot bear the idea of gifting their weapons to more Saxons. Their sacrifice was great. Their gift will be all the greater. They will know justice with our victory. It will calm their restless shades, I promise. Will your men bring the armor to the battle? And what is our plan? In the morning, you will go to Buckingham, remind Gidrich of his promise. When you have his bond, meet me on the shore near Rusesta with the ships. Ah, but Cunibert must be warned in advance. He'll need time to muster his rescue party. Runa, that is your task. I will tell you where to meet him before you leave. All seems in order. At first new light, I will leave. Good. That gives us time to drink. You've traveled so far to carry out your duty. Is this the life of a hidden one? Always on the move? No. Mine is not the usual path. The creed does travel. Our ideals are universal. We believe that. So there's nowhere you call home? No place I call home. No. Weird. <laughs> For me, home is family. But I have no family. No one? Not even Hytham? Parents, brothers, all dead. I lost my parents when I was nine winters along. Without Sigurd, I would have... I would have... There is always one unbreakable bond. Yes. Children. <laughs> they bewilder you. They can cause you so much worry. Fill you with joy. Even stop your heart. And if you're lucky, they replace you. I was not so lucky. I had a son. I miss him terribly, even now. I am sorry, Basim. He was taken from me. By someone I trusted. A friend, a mentor. A man who I would trust with anything. trust with anything you can take everything he took all I had all I had Sesta will not be an easy nut to crack. Time to prepare. This 
area is off limits. this fort and break this chain to get our ships safely upriver. The mechanism should be inside. Some kind of trouble. Hey, what's going on?
With the chain down, Gidrich and the ships can get through. Eivor, we await your orders. You brought your weapons and armor. Aye, Raven Tamer. Good. Now we dig in and wait for our friends. Well met, old friend. When the chance arrived to lodge an axe in the sod of Wessex, you thought of me. Such an honor. Is everything else in place, Eivor? Are we ready to take Roosester? Rally our army. We will drag this mouse from his hole.
you before I let you take this fortress. Your sister will not fall to you, rabid pack of mongrels. to take this fortress, Dean. Alfred's army will smear your innards across the battlements. We are not here for stone and sand, Thane Tedmund. I shit on you! You and your toy gods! I will not bow to you like some puppet's lord! I would rather die! How much will your king pay us to keep your sniveling head upon your neck? An army marches upon us from the south. A holy man from St. Hadrian's Priory, backed by a field. Ah, then, Abbot. Kinnebert? God be praised. If riches are all you care about, the Church has it in abundance. If the terms are fair, you'll have your freedom. A chest or two of silver for a shit-stained sewer rat. Stay quiet, or I'll not be able to stop my friend from slitting your throat. Ah! Watch yourself, heathen. You handle me too roughly. Soon in. Guide me. for the indignities you've showered upon me, Dane! I mean no offense, Thane. You're only a hefty ransom to me. Nothing more. The 
This is why you batter down my gates, kill my men for a purse of grubby coin? You have no honor! Enough. I'll return you to the... Let this good man go, or suffer an iron sickness. And what do you offer us in return? Your lives? We lost many good men storming this keep. It will not be in vain, Christ's slave. Twenty chests of silver. Give them all they ask, Kinnebert. A hefty sum that will leave God's coffers hollow. I cannot give it up without some assurance. Tedmund, you extort me in return for my life? You were swiftly met, Abbot. Not long after these... these scallious worms took my fort. On the Lord's bidding, Tedmund, at prayer, a terrible vision befell me. A host of heathens, your life in danger. A coincidence I find rather... <coughs> rather ominous, Abbot. Do you... <coughs> God help you, man. Are you well? <laughs> air. I need... I need air. He's dead. The work of poison, no doubt. No, 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 no. Rouse the man! He cannot be dead! He must not be dead! Poison? How does the man die of poison in our arms? Many great kings and paranoids have carried poison in times of war, as an alternative to capture and ransom. A catastrophe! Alfred will choose another and... By the saints! Alfred! How will I explain this to the king? We followed this road to its end, Cunebert. You may not like where it led, but you owe us our half of the bargain. You shall have your paladin. I need a day. Return to my abbey tomorrow, and you shall... Oh, dear, oh dear. These delays are grinding at my bones. We should abandon Cunebert. Find full care ourselves. Peace, Eivor. Speak with Giedrich and relieve him of his oath. I'll meet you at Cunebert's abbey. Fought like beasts, escaped from your hell today, Gidrich. Your oath to me is fulfilled. It was good to stand shoulder to shoulder with you against the pox dogs of Wessex. May our friendship endure. This tangle, briar of Christians and lords means nothing to me. I'm here for Sigurd. I understand. When you find him again, come see me. We'll feast and sing with mead and friendship to warm us. Agreed. Best not to draw attention here. 